Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you guys have not been here before, thank you so much for coming. It is finally time for another. All right guys, it has been a couple weeks, I think, or maybe just a week since I've updated you on a wine and design episode. But I have a new one for you guys today. I'm very excited about it because I'm gonna go really in depth with Show It. Um, that is a new platform I've been trying out for website design and website hosting and everything. And I typically use Divi and WordPress, so it's quite a big difference for me, but I wanted to dive into the pros and cons of Show It versus Divi and also show you guys me developing another page on Show It. So a quick little design time lapse um but yeah i'm definitely gonna dive into my honest thoughts about it the pros and cons and yeah so before we dive into that i finally have a new bottle of wine so i recently got this at rayleigh's i think it was and the only reason i got it was because the label is just beautiful and it spoke to me because i just love the moon phases and it just looked really sleek and cool. So I got this one, it's a red blend, so it's a mix of those wines right there. It has like Syrah, Merlot, Zinfandel, Sauvignon Blanc, I think. Um, all the different kind of red wines, so I thought that was pretty cool. It's from Napa, love Napa wines, so I'm very excited. I poured myself a little bit just to try with you guys, so let's give it a shot. I like that. I like that a lot. Every time I do these tasting things, I feel like a sommelier, like I need to tell you what it tastes like, but it's really good. It's like not so tart, which I actually really like because I feel like sometimes I'll drink a red wine and it like hurts the cheeks because it's so like tart or sour. That's really good because it's smooth. So I really like it. And you guys are also probably wondering what the heck this is. Um, I got it at the store called At Home when I was visiting my family back home. And it's a little cat that looks like it's sipping out of a wine bottle. And I just thought this was Leo. Literally, I couldn't pass it up. So it's super cute. It just goes in the wine bottle like as a cork. And you're supposed to like see the cat's head through there. But most wines have these little stickers here. So I don't really know. But I mean, it's pretty cute. So that's what that is. Um, but yeah, let's dive into the video i'm going to show you guys first the design time lapse and just show you guys me designing the show it site i designed the website on adobe xd and i'm developing it on show it so i'm actually paying out of pocket for show it for my client and then it's so easy to transfer the website onto the client's profile when she sets that up i wanted to buy show it myself just so i could kind of see if i like it and maybe build other clients websites on there so that's why i purchased it in my own name but typically i would recommend that you have your clients sign up for their own profile um if you don't have show it yourself that way you can just build it on their profile and stuff but little side note there and i'll show you guys me designing first and then we'll dive into my honest thoughts and the pros and cons of show it think about me one more time before you go Feeling this way for far too long And now you're gone you Took me away from all of my fears Kept me 
enjoyed that little design time lapse kind of thing. Um, I only designed the home and the about page. And I have to be honest with you guys, I hired somebody to develop the rest of the site just because I'm so just stressed and overwhelmed with the amount of work I have on my plate. It's all really amazing things, but I think it's okay to outsource things sometimes if you feel like you need the help. I think a lot of times we try to do everything ourselves and then end up feeling extremely stressed and overwhelmed. So I did hire someone to develop the rest, but I feel like I got a good idea and feel of show it and what it provides and if I like it. So Leo's probably gonna come in the camera in a second, but um, let's dive into my honest thoughts of the pros of show it and then I'll let you guys know the cons of it and just kind of let you guys figure it out on your own if you wanna give it a shot or not. So I have my notes here. So the first pro of show it is that you have complete creative freedom. I thought this was really awesome. I'm kind of kind of I'm going to kind of compare show it to Divi cuz that is what I'm mainly using is Divi. And compared to Divi, you have so much freedom in terms of like if you want to overlay images like on top of each other or put like a logo kind of like background image on the side of the site or I don't know if I'm making sense, but when you wanna like overlay images on Divi, it's really difficult and a lot of times doesn't show up properly on every single screen. So with Show It, I thought that was really cool that you can put images, overlap them, or you can have them like overlay into other parts of the site. And that to me was a huge, huge pro because that is something I love incorporating in my designs. Leo's right here. Come here, baby. He just wanted to say hi. Um, but that is a huge pro for me with show it and um, the second pro is that you can easily duplicate just sections of different pages so with Divi you'd have to actually duplicate the entire page actually that is a lie you can do it with Divi as well but I thought the way that show it implements that is a lot more simple and easy to just duplicate a canvas part of the page onto another page so let's say on the home page you love the section you did about the brand and then on the about page you want that section of the brand to be on the um the same kind of style you could easily duplicate that within the click of a button so that was pretty cool definitely another pro for me as the design process um now another pro was that um oh yeah so this was pretty cool so if you're designing and you want to maybe make the contact page or the shop, not really the shop, if you want to make the contact page look like another theme template, then you can easily add in different templates onto the same site so you're not stuck with one template. A lot of this Divi does offer. I would just say that Show It has it more laid out simple so that you could easily figure it out if it's your first time whereas Divi is probably a bigger learning curve if it's your very first time with it. But um, most of this, besides the overlapping of images, is possible with Divi as well. So um, another pro is that it really reminds me of the Adobe programs like, Show it, or, um, like Photoshop and Illustrator. It really reminds me of that kind of layout and the design process felt like I was on Photoshop and there was a few times where I would hit the shortcuts for Photoshop and it wasn't working. I'm like, oh my God, because I'm not on Photoshop, but it looks so similar to those platforms. So that part was a little bit of a learning curve for me because I'm like, it looks so similar that I literally like would mentally think it was Photoshop that I was on. So that was um pretty cool though. I kind of like that. It looks like it. it literally looks like you're just creating art on a canvas, which is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, those are my pros of it. I think that it's really, really amazing for the creative aspect of just overlaying images, overlapping images, just doing whatever you want on the page, just throwing it all on there. That show it is like the only platform I have ever used that allows this. So I really love it for that. Now, um, I'm going to go into the cons and kind of share with you guys my honest thoughts about that. So, okay, so the first con with 
the show up platform that I could see initially is that first off, it's expensive. It's definitely not the most cost effective option for your client. Um, I was gonna do the math before I sat down, but just off the top of my head, um, you have to pay for extra add-ons like e-commerce and um, if you want extra plugins or I'm trying to think like I think if you want the blog you have to do it on WordPress so all of that adds up and costs money and I think that if you were to just be on WordPress and Divi it only costs you about 230 a year possibly maybe 280 a year but with show it when you're adding all those on it could end up being like 350 a year so it definitely is a little bit more than WordPress and that is pretty much game changer for a lot of clients if you give them the option they're always probably going to choose the more affordable but um yeah so that was one of the biggest cons for me was just that i paid for the middle category which was not the basic one but the um i can't remember the name they use but it was about 24 a month and um that's not including like shopify Lite or if i need to install wordpress um and woocommerce like that is going to cost money to basically host the WordPress on a different platform. So I like to have everything just mentally for myself all in one place. And I think that if I had everything everywhere, I would get a little bit stressed out and it'd be like harder to keep track of like yearly payments and making sure I'm renewing everything. So yeah, that's, I could go on about that, but that is definitely one of the biggest cons with it. Although the creative freedom is still like pretty up there. It really kind of outweighs that. But um, I would say that pricing for clients when they're new, they wouldn't want to spend extra just for a little bit of extra creativity because you can do whatever you want on Divi as well. Um, so that was one of the bigger cons. Um, and also external email hosting is the second con. So with WordPress, if I were using like SiteGround hosting, which is my favorite hosting, um, they actually allow you to set up your own email boxes for free. And um, that's like a huge, huge pro for me with SiteGround and just any hosting you need for like WordPress, you always get your own email um, most of the time with whatever hosting package you choose. So with SiteGround, you'd have to go buy like a Gmail suite or you basically have to host your email somewhere else. So that is also gonna add up in price. Um, and then also the last con is that, for me, I love on Divi that when I design the main website, it actually automatically kind of converts it to the mobile design. And it's way more responsive in that conversion, but with Show It, it was not converting anything. So mobile site design is completely different job you'd have to actually like go in and redesign it using the mobile layout. So for me, with the amount of volume I have in clients, that is a huge con because I would have to go backwards to fix the mobile, which I already do in Divi, but it's way quicker because like I said, they convert it pretty well. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit of a, that's kind of why I hired someone to help me finish the rest because I'm like, I do not have time to go through the mobile on top of the other pages. Like I'm just, that's a lot. So um, that's always an option too though. If you love show it initially to design your work and you know that it's gonna convert your designs really well, maybe look into a developer to just convert your Adobe XD or Photoshop file into the show it site. There's so many options out there to make it work, um, but you'd have to be charging your client enough so that you make a profit still. But um. Yeah, so those are my pros and cons of Show It. I overall really like the platform. I think it's a great option for some people because not everyone's gonna love Divi, not everyone's gonna love Show It. So you really have to figure out what works best for your workflow. For me, I know I'm gonna continue using Divi. I probably will use Show It once in a while, um, but for now, Divi is more affordable and I'm used to it, I know all the shortcuts, it's just what I'm comfortable with. Um, but I hope this helped you guys. I hope you enjoyed this wine and design. I always forget to actually drink my wine and then I like enjoy it after. But um, if you have any questions at all about Show It or 
about website hosting platforms in general, please let me know. I've pretty much tried every single one of them. Squarespace, Wix, um, WordPress, show it now. I've tried a lot of uh, website platforms and yeah, those are my honest thoughts, but please let me know what you guys think and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm excited to be back on my YouTube schedule. My next vlog will be going up on Sunday, so be sure to check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.